What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Black Student Success Podcast, where we bring you insight and guidance from successful Black professionals and students. My name is Selvin, and as always, we appreciate the support. So we are in our uh, Where Are They Now uh, segment. So we've got John Viard, who's back on the show. He was when one of our very first episodes within season one. Um, at the time, he was an assistant director of uh, compliance within the financial services industry. And so he talked about what it's like kind of moving up within in that space um, and kind of finding his niche um, as he has stayed with the same company, still with the same company at this point, um, you know, for over 10 years. So, you know, um, especially within our millennial group, that's, you know, something that's kind of hard to find. So getting his perspective on, you know, what has kept him there and what's continuing to, you know, drive him uh, was very interesting. So we're going to kind of see what's been happening, you know, in almost the, you know, a year since we last talked to him. So John, welcome back. How you doing, man? I'm blessed. Thank you so much for having me back. Can't believe it's been a year. What? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 flown by so quick. But to think back, there's a, a a lot of things that has happened in that time. So, uh, you know, we're just we're just happy to you know get a little bit more of your time just to you know kind of see what's been going on. So, you know, tell us you know what has happened. You know, like kind of within the past nine, twelve months. So over the last year, I've been focused quite a bit on, again, expanding my perspectives, getting connected to a network outside of my organization, as well as inside, um, tuning in frequently to inquire higher, to hear different perspectives from other professionals in all sorts of disciplines, and seeing what nuggets, even though it's different industries or what have you, what nuggets I can apply to the work that me and my teams do here uh, at our company. Um, Personally, um, continued progression and success, thankfully, I'm very blessed to have Expanded opportunities within the, the sort of track that I've been on at this point, having more of a you know central leadership role in our department and getting my hands on some really critical business outcomes and projects uh, that are coming up here this next year. So the blessings continue, um, you know, the, the, the strength of the network and the insights continue to kind of add value every day. So just just grateful and continue to be motivated. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's really, really good to hear that you're, you know, still kind of continuing this, uh, this growth process, um, as you're kind of learning more, um, either about the, you know, the, the team that you built so far and just all the changes that have kind of come your way, um, you know, with anything, um, and I, is, is there anything un- like unexpected that you, your team has to kind of, um, adjust to, or had to adjust to, and like, what, what has been, what has that been like, um, especially within your position, um, you know, uh, of being in leadership? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, uh, I might have shared some of this when we had our conversation about a year or so ago, but being in the compliance and supervision, as we call it, and within financial services in that realm, we're subject to sort of being like the tip of the spear as far as like different regulations as they roll out. And so, you know, for a group like ours and the broader department that we work with, Any regulation that comes out from the SEC or anything related to financial services, different regulators, we are constantly having to adapt our processes, enhance our training, and make sure that we in the company more broadly are doing everything we need to do to not just comply with whatever the rule is, but make sure that our advisors, our processes, our systems are always elevating what's best for the client first. And that we're meeting all the rig- rigor and you know sort of regulatory expectations second, right? But client client outcomes and client sort of uh, best interest always comes first, right? Yeah. So yeah. adapting to all that is a is a whirlwind. You know those things come very quickly. Sometimes they you know regulators pivot expectations or what have you, and so we just got to stay nimble, which is a great kind of challenge for any good high performing team, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure that with, you know, um, you know, especially on your end, if the if the team is growing, um, then you're, you know, having uh, more perspectives, which can make things definitely uh, uh, great, whether you having people who are, um, you know, familiar with the industry or that or have a different perspective that just kind of helps the team grow more. Um, and I'm sure it can also bring challenges because you have more, uh, more perspectives, more personalities to kind of make sure still mesh with this team that you've been building. How has that been, um, especially within this last year? Man, I love the question. You know, you touch on a couple of really important things there. I love the continuous injection of fresh perspectives. You know, I talked about that a little bit earlier with like my personal growth and, and, you know, listening into a podcast like this one, 
just hearing different perspectives. That helps when it comes to being creative and problem solving and seeing things from a different lens. If everybody at the table has sort of like the, well, this is how we've always done it perspective. We're only going to be so creative in what we come to the table with. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's been such a, a blessing again of having this new influx of diverse perspectives from different backgrounds is I've gotten some really innovative, like totally out of the box, looking at things from a totally different perspective that has changed the game for us in many instances, right? They're not always like necessarily big monumental shifts, but even little incremental progressions and, and little incremental like problem solving outcomes that that's so much easier to do when you have a, a wide variety of diverse perspectives at the table. So that's been a lot of fun to kind of watch those folks get more familiar with the industry, get more familiar with the subject matter, but still kind of maintain their uniqueness and, and, and their, you know, their experience with them, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, just one other question, just, you know, um, I know one of the, the subjects that we had talked about before was just, um, you know, just, you know, seeing more and more uh, black faces within, you know, not necessarily your team, but just, you know, within the industry, maybe within your organization, um, you know, has that changed within that last time frame? And if so, um, how has that, you know, had an impact, whether it directly or indirectly on the work that you do? Man, so, uh, so important, so, so important that work. So I'll speak specifically about my teams first. We are always looking, we are always on the lookout for, for, you know, high potential black talent to come and kind of, you know, grace us with an, another uh, different lens at the table that is uh, unfortunately far too often not commonly at the table, right? So definitely been prioritizing, trying to reach, connect with and expose the black talent that we, within our networks to, a really rich career opportunity within compliance and supervision in particular in financial services. As a company, you know, I am extremely blessed to work for a company that, you know, literally from the mouth of the CEO on down has made bold, extremely bold commitments to advancing specifically Black and African-American talent, um, you know, our culture and how we embrace and celebrate and nurture that talent. And then also getting really, really, um, uh, specific about driving forward financial inclusion and addressing marketplace deficiencies that as an industry, the financial services group has really not done a stellar job of in, in the past. So <clears throat> from a both micro level and my immediate teams, all the way up to the organization in general, it's just so cool to have been a part of and continue to sort of champion this work at a, at a very macro and micro level. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it can be amazing to see what what you can do, or even just to kind of look back, um, you know, f a, a year from now and see where things were at, you know, the the, the talent, you know, um, even if you're just looking at strictly the numbers in terms of percentages and kind of seeing what growth has happened. Um, but then also th some things that you can't measure, you can, you know, kind of see the morale, you can kind of get a gauge of the relationships that you've made with, uh, you know, with any of the uh, you know, the black employees that you either interact with directly or indirectly and, and, and see, see that impact. So I, I, and, you know, obviously it does start from the, um, or it can start from the top of, or it's really good to see it start from the top and then move down. Um, and, and, and hopefully, you know, that continues to grow. So, so thanks for sharing that perspective. Um, finally, you know, just, to, uh, get a gauge on what, uh, either, the um you know our our first interview or just either the podcast or just inquire and hire um if that's had any particular impact on your life you know i just want to um have you uh um given again an opportunity to share that with us you know um i talked about exposure a little bit earlier i think for me um even though you know the the idea behind this <clears throat> excuse me even though the idea behind the podcast is highlighting you know black professionals that have had success in their careers or what have you you know Sometimes it can be very lonely being like one of you or what have you in your respective arena. What I've just been absolutely blown away by is the breadth, like the variety of expertise of like the variety of industries, the variety of tenures um, and career paths as some of the folks that you all have been highlighting over the last year plus. It's absolutely blown me away. It's so cool to see like, you know, I don't regularly interact with, you know, black uh, um 
uh, neurosurgeons or, or, or anesthesiologists or like any number of these millions of different sort of perspectives that you all have brought to the table. It's just so cool to see. It energizes me. It fills my bucket. It's like, oh, wow. Yeah, we can kill it. And we are killing it all over. Mm-hmm. And to the extent that we can remain connected and support one another, that's been a huge boost to me from a from a confidence, from a morale, from a we belong um, you know, here collectively, it's just been stellar. So I commend you and the good folks at Inquire Higher for all the work you've been doing to this point. It's, it's, it's amazing. Absolutely. And thank you for just even, you know, uh, uh, tuning into any of the other, other episodes. Um, you know, um, any, any, uh, you know, support like that is definitely greatly appreciated and, you know, we can you know, hope to continue that and, and just thank you for being a part of that. You know, you, you were one of the first, so we, we definitely yeah. want to highlight you and, and thank you for that. And then, you know, coming back to just kind of let us know how, you know, how that's impacting you and what's been going on. So, uh, John, thanks again for, for coming on any last words for our audience. Just, just keep your head up, stay connected where you can, where, you know, where you can reach out and, and help uplift somebody, support somebody, mentor someone, no matter where you might think your standing is. Uh, maybe it's just as a sounding board or as a, um, you know, sort of an ear for someone that goes a long way. Take that extra minute to love on one another and support each other. And, and I promise we'll all be further along next year when we do the next update. So keep that mentorship spirit alive and and thanks for everything y'all are doing. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, John. We, we definitely appreciate you coming on and thanks to everybody who's been uh, listening and when watching, uh, feel free to follow us at Inquire Hire. That's on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our website, inquirehire.com. We got a lot of great information there and you can uh, reach us by email as well. That's contact at inquirehire.com in case you have any questions um, either about the podcast or just anything that we do. So uh, we'll be looking forward to hearing from you. So until next time. Take care, everybody.